Oh, hey, it's me, Olive, your Pride Princess, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to part five of this Pride series. Bitch, we're pretty close to getting syndicated, like, let's be honest. Today, I thought we would get into the wiggetry of it all and get into some styling, yeah? So we're gonna turn an old, rotted, gutted wig into something fit for a queen. But before we get into this video, you know what you have to do. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you check out all my other socials at The Olive Cox for more drag fun. Also, like, spoiler alert, if you saw my like, last video, then you already know what the wig looks like, so, yikes. But if you wanna see how I styled it, then keep on watching. Now, for styling, you'll need a few things before we get started. For styling, I actually use like a steamer for like clothes. That just helps like set and like reset the hair for like curls and everything. Also, you'll need a brush, a teasing brush, which helps like smooth the hairs and then tease the hair, obviously, to get some like big body. A clip just to section like pieces off so then you're not like getting it everywhere. Alligate your clips. You also need a glad bag. Not a sad one. <laughs> You'll also need some rollers in a few different sizes to help curl the hair and a blow dryer. And then we'll also need two different kinds of hairsprays. One like wet and then one like super firm like hold. This is like glue, obviously. And I use two different hairsprays because I'm what? extra and also one like allows you to like smooth the hair the sorry the other one keeps the hold you'll also need a wig head and wig stand and obviously a wig i also got this wig a few years ago so she's been through a girl i'll post a few pictures Yeah, so she needs all the help she can get. First, I started by brushing everything out, trying to get all the knots and everything out, and then I used the steamer to help smooth and help me comb through everything. I straightened everything with the steamer, and I used a steamer rather than a straightener because it's a synthetic lace front, and what that means is that they're plastic hair-like fibers, which are gorge, but they can only handle so much heat. So I brushed everything out. I took the head off the base. So I put my thing down, flipped it, and reversed it. Am I right? Sectioned off the hair, separating the bangs. The bangs! I also sectioned it off to make things easier for myself. Clipping them with clips. I sectioned the bangs off, the top of the hair, the crown, the bottom. Then I brushed off the sections, curled them, and clipped them, and continued until the entire hair was covered in rollers. Brush, curl, clip. Brush, curl, clip. Once I had everything rolled up, I used the wet hairspray to lightly set everything, and then I covered it with a glad bag. Don't get mad, get glad. I'm gonna spray that with a steamer until the entire wig and rollers are all wet. Because if they're wet, they're what? Set and that's serving as like a little wig oven, if you will. Then you can let that dry for a little bit. You can catch an episode of Drag Race, watch a lip sync for your life or several of them. You know, live your life. Then while the glad bag is still covering the wig, I take a blow dryer, which will help dry everything up and help set those curls even further. Then I took the curls out one by one, letting go of those alligator clips, letting it down, brushing out those curls after taking them out. Teasing the hair, just to add body. So you tease it, spray it, smooth it, sections at a time. Use the back side of the comb to lift the hair as needed.
don't fight with the hair, let the curls guide you into how she wants to be styled. Otherwise, you'll be fighting her girl, and it ain't cute. And I left the rollers in the front half with the bangs, and I styled the back beforehand because that just makes things easier as you go. And make sure you spray that heavily with some Gatsby because, listen, she won't go anywhere if you got this. <laughs> and then the blow dryer and the hair I used together to help smooth down the hair. Next, we can start working on the bangs. Same process as before. Take out the curlers, tease the hair, smooth it, style it, then spray it. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not a hair doctor. I didn't smooth out the bangs as much because I was going for like a 90s vibe because I'm a product of my environment, and that was the 90s. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. Decided to pair this outfit with this like 90s inspired hair. It's super cute, super fun. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, you know what to do. Leave them down below in the comments section. Make sure you check out all my other socials at The Olive Cox for more drag and pride fun. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.